Quad City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Gunsmoke, starring William Conrad, the transcribed story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal. The first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. You stay with the horses, will you, Chester? Yes, sir. I won't be long. I sure don't envy you having to talk to her, Mr. Jones. Well, somebody has to do it. I don't understand that, Zach Morton. It's good land out here. There's a nice little house, water, everything. Why do you have to go trying to get rich the hard way? And I guess it never looks hard, though, to try it. Mr. Dillon, Ada's seen us. She's come out on the porch. Oh, yeah. Hello, Ada. Marshal Dillon. Ada, uh, I sent a man out here a few days ago to tell you what happened to Zack. He told me. Well, I kind of thought you'd come into Dodge. No, I... They had to bury him, Ada. I, I'd have brought him out here, but I was off chasing his partner. Did you catch him? He was killed swimming in Cimarron. He killed Zack right on Front Street. All right. I had no choice, Ada. I told him not to go back to town. I told him you'd probably have found out who robbed that express office. I said you'd be looking for him. I'm sorry it happened, Ada. For your sake. Jack turned bandit, Marshal. I I lost pride in him for a long time now. Ada, there's been some talk going on in Dodge. What are they saying? Well, everybody thinks that Zack brought the money out here and hid it. I think you know where it is. Is that what you think, Marshal? Well, they could have been headed south with it, riding bold and innocent-like right through Dodge. The money could be at the bottom of the Cimarron with Zack's partner. Zack went bad, Marshal. I hated him for it. That's why I didn't come to town when he got killed. Yeah. Well, I I won't bother you anymore, Ada. Goodbye. Goodbye, Marshal. What's she saying, Mr. Dillon? I don't think Ada knows anything, Chester. Well, he buried that money out here somewhere. There's no man would be fool enough to ride back into Dodge with it. I think that woman's fooling you, Mr. Dillon. I think she knows where the money's at. Chester, let's ride back as far as the creek and build us a fire, huh? I'm hungry. Uh, Here's another strip of meat that's about done, Chester. Well, that's yours, Mr. Dillon. I ate the last one. Hey, look. Huh? We got company. It's that Leach Fields fella. Leach Fields? Well, who's he? Well, he got off Santa Fe one day while he was down on Cimarron. But I don't know for sure where he comes from or... I wonder what he's doing out this way now. Is he a gambler? Oh, I ain't never saw him gambling, but he sure dresses like one, don't he? Yeah, he looks pretty fancy. Yeah, oh, he's a gentleman, Mr. John. A real gentleman. We don't get many like him. Uh, how do, Mr. Fields? Uh, hello, Chester. Uh, Mr. Fields, this here is Marshal Dillon. Well... It's a pleasure to meet you, Marshal. I've been looking forward to it. Well, that makes you different from most men who come to Dodge. Yes, I've been observing those men, Marshal. They're bad. They're evil. Yeah, some of them sure are, Mr. Fields. You do right to kill them, Marshal. When I kill somebody, it's because I have to. Not because it's either right or wrong. Well, it was certainly right to kill Zack Morton. Was it? Of course it was. 
I'm on my way now to console his widow with that same thought, Marshal. Oh? Uh-huh. We're old friends, even though I haven't seen Ada in years. Why did you know her, Fields? Back in St. Joe. Well, that's right. She is in St. Joe. I've heard her talk about it. I'll buy you a drink when I return to Dodge, Marshal. Bye. Goodbye, Chester. Uh, bye, Mr. Fields. Here. See what I mean about him being a gentleman, Mr. Doan? Your meat's burning, Chester. You mean you don't think he's a nice fellow? I said your meat's burning. It's fine with me, Chester. I hear there's some cattle coming up the trail in a couple of days, though. Well, that's a couple of days off. We'll enjoy ourselves while we can. Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> well, forevermore. What do you know? Oh, what is it? Look, it's Leach Fields and Ada Morton. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, hello, Ada. Fields. Hello, hello Marshal. How do you? Chester. Well, I've got good news, Marshal. How's that, son? Haven't I, Ada? Let me tell him. We're going to get married, Marshal. But married? Tomorrow, right here in Dodge. I brought Ada in today so she could buy some clothes and things. Ah, I see. I know what you're thinking, Marshal. You're, you're thinking it's awful fast with Zach gone only a couple of weeks. Oh, it's no business of mine, Ada. Well, it's not so fast considering how we knew each other back in St. Joe and all. Ada, you'd better run along now and do your shopping. I'll meet you at the Dodge house in about an hour. All right. Uh, Ada. I, uh, just want to wish you happiness. Thank you. Leach is a good man, Marshal. He's a good, God-fearing man. Well, that's quite a compliment, Fields, from a woman like her. She's endured a lot of evil in her life, Marshal. I want to help her to forget it. Look, Fields, the evil that you mentioned, that never brought her a thing. Not a thing. Well, of course not. What I mean is it didn't bring her any money. Money? From Zack? That'd be tainted money, Marshal. I wouldn't touch it, and I wouldn't allow her to. Now, what about that drink I promised you? No, not today, Fields. I'm pretty busy. Uh, but I'll be waiting for you next time you come to town. Well, I'm glad that meal's over. Now they got a new cook here, Kitty, didn't I tell you? You didn't have to, Matt. Oh, no, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't? Where did he learn to be cook? Out poisoning wolves? <laughs> Good cook's hard to find. Yeah, I'm sure of it. Yeah, long hours, not much pay. If he doesn't like the job, why doesn't he go back to oil and leather or whatever he was doing? <laughs> well, if he could hear you, I expect he would. <laughs> well, hello, Matt. Kitty. Hello, Doc. Sit down. Hello, Doc. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Where you been the last couple of days? Oh, out in the country, Kitty. Waiting for a baby to make up its mind. <laughs> oh, Oh, say, I passed by Ada Morton's place on my way back, Matt. It's been Ada Fields for the last month, Doc. I know, I know. Well, how are they getting along, Doc? I didn't see Ada, but Leach Fields was there. So? You know how nice he usually is, Matt? He's so gentlemanlike and everything, but he wasn't this time. Oh, no, he acted like he didn't want me around. He wouldn't even invite me into the house. Well, maybe he was busy. Oh, yeah, he was busy. He was sitting there on the porch doing nothing. Matt, I don't like it. I've got a feeling something's wrong out there. You better go and have a look. Sitting right there on the porch, Mr. Dillon, just like Doc said. Yeah. Of course, I always did think Doc's just an old worrier. Hello, Fields. 
Good afternoon, Marshal. Chester. How do you, Mr. Fields? What are you doing way out here? Ah, we were riding by. We thought we'd say hello. Well, I'm glad you did. I'm sorry you missed Ada, though, Marshal. She's going to be mighty disappointed. Uh, where is she, Fields? I don't know. She got on a horse this morning and said she was off to visit some neighbors. Mm-hmm. Uh, didn't she say who? She wants to go visiting. I don't ask her where. I trust Ada. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, I'd, uh, I'd ask you in, Marshal, but... One thing she did tell me was if anybody rode by not to let them see the house, she didn't take time to clean it up, and you know how women are. Well, we we, we got to go back to Dodge anyway, Fields. Uh, you tell her hello for us. Yeah, I'll do that, Marshal. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Fields. Goodbye, Chester. Well, now, he wasn't acting mean, Mr. Dillon. Chester. Hmm? Did you ever hear of a country woman riding off and not telling her husband where she's going? Well, no, sir, come think of it, I never did. You bet you didn't. Over here, Chester. I couldn't see you behind this bush, Mr. Dillon. Uh, did you find a place to tie the horses? Yes, sir. There was an old log down in that gully. Have you saw anything? Well, as soon as we were out of sight, Fields left the porch and went into the house. And nobody's come out yet. Mm. Well, I still think you're wrong about him, Mr. Dillon. Yeah, maybe I am. Maybe I just don't like men who go around preaching how bad other men are. You're awful suspicious of everybody, Mr. Dillon. Well, Chester, nothing pleases me more than when I'm wrong. Mm, I know. How long are we going to have to lay out here in this doggone dirt, Mr. Dunn? That'll dark if nothing happens before. Then what? Then we're going up to that house, Indian style. Mm. It ain't hardly noon. we got an awful long wait. Say now, maybe I'll just... Wait a minute. Hmm? Look. It's him. He had a horse around back. Yeah. He's riding north. We gonna follow him? Maybe. After we take a look in the house, let's get our horses. Bust that door open if you want in, Mr. Dillon. And I'll bust it open. Come on. I feel like a crook entering a man's house this way. Don't let it bother you, Chester. Let's take a look in the bedroom. Ah. You gonna bust it open, too? Yes, sure. Look on the bed, Mr. Dillon. He, he's got her all tied up. Yeah. You untie her feet, Chester. Yes, sir. Oh, dear. So she looks sick. Oh, Marshal. You all right, Ada? Have you been hurt? No, Marshal. I've been starved. Starved? Nothing to eat. Not for days. Wait. Oh, my goodness. Take a look in the kitchen, Chester. See if you can find something for yes, her. Yes, I sure will. Where did Leach Fields go, Ada? We saw him right off. He, he wanted the money, Marshal. He starved me so, so that I'd tell him. And you finally gave in? You told him? He, he's, he's gone to dig for it. Inside that old sod hut up near Willow Spring. Oh, yeah, I know where it is. If, if he don't find the money... He's coming back to kill me, Marshal. Look, uh, Ada, we're going to leave a rifle with you. You think you're strong enough to use it? I'll get strong enough. I'll use it. 
Ada, you never knew Leech Fields before, did you? No, I only said it so it looked better marrying him so quick. Yeah, I thought so. I'll go help Chester now, and as soon as we can feed you something, we'll go after him. He, he seemed so good, Marshal. He seemed so good for a day or two. Huh? <laughs> This is far enough, Chester. It's so dark I can't hardly see nothing. Now he's in there. You can hear him digging. Listen. I'll hear him. We gonna rush him? I'd like to take him alive if possible. We need real wait for him to come out. No, let's jump him. Maybe it'll scare him so bad he won't put up a fight. All right. <laughs> now you walk about ten feet to the left of me, Chester. Mm. I'll go inside alone. If he... Takes me where you get him, huh? Yes, sir. Okay, Chester. I got the drop on your fields. Don't move. What are you doing here, Marshal? Get your hands in the air. Sure. Sure. But I don't understand. Don't be a fool! All right, Chester. You get him, Mr. Dillon? It's too dark in here. I tried for his shoulder the first shot, but I missed. You sure he's dead? I couldn't afford to miss the next two, Chester. No, sir. No, Mr. Dillon, I sure was wrong about him. Yeah. I guess he didn't find the money, though, did he? He would have, if there'd been any. But this is where Ada said it was. You want to start digging for it, Chester? Well, no, sir. I... That money's at the bottom of the Cimarron with Zach's partner. Well, then why'd she say it was out here? Well, I guess she thought if she could get rid of Leech Fields even for a little while, she might have a chance. Well, she was right, wasn't she? Yeah. And you and everybody else had better start believing in Ada. She's been through enough over something that she never even knew anything about. Man sure can be wrong sometimes, can he, Mr. Dillon? Now, you tell everybody that back in Dodge, Chester. And maybe Ada can have a little peace. She's earned it. To kill a man in a fair fight or in self-defense wasn't too unusual on the frontier. But next week, a man kills to avenge the death of his brother without firing a shot. But that was the West. Good night. Gunsmoke, produced and directed by Norman MacDonald, stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. Our story was specially written for Gunsmoke by John Meston, with music composed and conducted by Rex Corey. Our thanks to TV Radio Mirror and to you, our listening audience, for again selecting Gunsmoke, the favorite Western program of the year. The results of this annual poll appear in the current issue of TV Radio Mirror.